So here I am in uh, the state of Louisiana Children's Hospital, uh, where supposedly on this site is where Ed Haslam in this book, <laughs> Dr. Mary's Monkey, claims that that secret cancer research was done and perhaps that this is where Mary Sherman had her fatal accident before her body was moved to her apartment and made to look like a, a murder. Uh, so interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Here's the angle from the of the main building of uh, what used to be the old U.S. Department of Public Health, and um, this picture is in Ed Haslam's book. This angle. And let me refer to the book and see if I can find the exact building where he thinks th that. Um, reactor was located. This is the other side of that main building, the left side if you're facing it, the left side of it. Uh, interesting. Okay. Let's see we are. Actually the children's hospital I believe is over here. Yeah. On the same property, but this is the map in the book, or the diagram in the photograph in the book, indicates that this building here would have been the location of the reactor. However, is that tall enough? There's a tall thing back there that I'm going to check out. But, let's see here. Interesting. These buildings look old enough. Reserve parking. Now oh, that is, it looks like it. Yeah, that front looks a little bit different. But, but uh, it's hard from the black and white picture on page uh, 259. It looks, this front looks slightly different. But uh, in the lighting, maybe it's much hard to see this overhang, but yeah, that is definitely it. This building right next to that, <laughs> interesting, high voltage, danger, danger. But uh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Street. There's another building, similar looking building. And this one looks dilapidated. Almost like this could be it as well. I'll have to compare the picture in the book when I get I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to get stopped by anybody. Similar entrance. Danger, do not enter this area. Interesting, this looks like it's not going to be used. But interesting. Now I've left the, the premises and walked around to the back side. 
I wish I would have come earlier in the day, but this is apparently is in a section of town called Uptown. Uh, quite nice. We're very close to the river. In that kind of a U-shaped area of the river where it dips down. And uh, yeah, seems to be a slightly more upscale section of town. Here's the back side of the very dilapidated building and overgrown with ivy. I uh, hope you can see it. Broken windows. But according to my the book, this is the building right here. This is the back side of that building where the reactor actually was housed. And this looks like a smokestack of some kind. I don't know if it's nuclear exhaust <laughs> or what. But kind of eerie. Think what may have transpired here. Ah. The back side of it. Let me get across the street. And uh Correction, correction. Correction. This building right here is the back side of the one that we suspected, according to the book, suspected to be where the nuclear reactor, that's the right word for it, particle accelerator or whatever you want to call it. Gate at the back side, and uh, well, they look at that back side of the building that we think the nuclear reactor is in. And okay, just a little bit more deep now that I know exactly where I am on the ground, uh, in relationship to the ground, I should say, I can explain a little bit. Uh, Right out there, that big street going left to right is Canal Street. And that big hotel right there, Sheraton, is the old site of the International Mart. I think that's what it was called, where Clay Shaw was the director back in uh, the early 60s. And right below us, we're in the Wyndham Hotel here, right behind us, which I can't see to the street, is the apartment where Oswald lived as. One source I had said it was there as a baby with his mother, but then I saw read something yesterday that said he was there when he was like 15 or 16. And out there is the Mississippi River, and that's the bend in the river called Algiers Point, right there where it, uh, the river heads due south and now then it comes across here kind of east to west winding over there a couple miles in that direction is where i was tonight at the uh, children's hospital area in the U u.s department of health where mary sherman worked so anyway it's a lot of history here here i am from my uh, hotel room on canal street the wyndham hotel looking out my window on the 18th floor um, in New Orleans. Sheraton there. I can hear music and sirens. This is... <laughs> what you hear? Look at all those air conditioning units on the roof of that building. Interesting. Let's see here. Boat out there, there's a river boat out there.
Well, let me embark on my day and see what I can find.